Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I'm back again with another Wranglers game. We are now, uh, we're 5-3, and three, as you probably know, tied with the Cowboys and Vikings at the top of our division. And we have, let's see, who are we playing now? We are playing Cleveland, who is not very good. They are right here in the uh, other in the American uh, conference so they're three and five on the year hopefully that means we're going to have a win so let's see here we will uh, play one week get them going through the games going to turn down the volume pump down the volume And we'll see what happens here. All right, no problems, fine. Let's get this show on the road. Launch it. And I am going to, I wanna receive the, the kickoff. I know that's not the common thing to do nowadays, but um, I wanna do that so that we can get the ball I'm going to uh, I'm going to run with the ball. Let's see what happens if we do that. Um, probably not a lot of good stuff because I just got ten yards. All right, so it's going to be our ball first and ten at the ten, and I'm going to go looking pass to the flanker. And it looks like it was incomplete. So. Yep, second and 10 from the 10. I think we're gonna go to the uh, pro set. I'm gonna go, let's go short. Let's just see what happens. Let's test out this Cleveland pass defense and they take it for a touchdown or maybe not. Yeah, they did. So they, uh, uh, that's not a really good start for us, to say the least. Matt Stover kicks the the extra point. And I think the penalty might have been on us. I don't know. All right, this time I'm taking the touchback. All right, so let's see. We're down 7 nothing. So that was really a waste because not only did I start with the ball, but I gave them the touchdown. So it was almost like uh, we had kicked off to them, except we didn't. All right, I'm going to go. Let's try to launch it. I'm just going to, you know, I'm doing some, some crazy. I'm trying some crazy stuff. Just to see. And that's incomplete. So let's go short to the flanker. And that was completed. So nice. We got our first first down. Uh, let's go draw play with a halfback. And he got caught. Dang. This Cleveland defense is good. How are they three and five? All right. Um, flat pass to the tight end on second and 13. I don't know. Did he catch it? Yeah, he did. Five yards. So we got a third and eight. Uh, yeah. I mean, we're definitely going to pass. Let's go short to the flanker. And he catches it for a first down and a little more. Nice. I'm going to go long again to the split end. And that's incomplete. So we got a second and 10 at um, our 47. 
going to go flat to the split end. And he catches it for a first down and a little more. Nice. Okay, let's try an end run with Tim Spencer. And he runs into a wall and gets only two yards. Going to go pro set. And let's try the end run again. Second and eight. And that time he gets nailed. All right, I guess. I'm guessing the... Uh, the Cleveland defense is great against the run. And we've got a fumble. And give the ball back to Cleveland. Nice. All right. Uh, this is not really the way I wanted to start the game. That's for sure. And Ernest Beiner takes it in just a couple of yards there. One yard. Um, I'm going to go run again. And that time he passes Testaverde. This was the good Testaverde, so if there ever was one. Well, I guess pass, and he is passing, and it is incomplete. So second and ten, I'm going to guess run. And they're offside, so good. Or false start. So they got a second and 15. Now I am definitely passing. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And we do stop him. So he's got a third and nine. Definitely, again, looking pass. And we do stop him just short of a first down and he's going to try to kick a field goal i'm going to put in kick block looks like he might make it though and he does so he's got a 10 nothing lead all right i think i kind of underestimated cleveland coming into this game based on their record Well, we get a nice return there. We still gotta, we gotta stick with it though. We gotta keep hammering away. And that flat pass is gonna go for nothing. We, in fact, we lost three yards, all right. Going to go pass to the split end. I mean, they seem to be more susceptible to the pass than they are to the uh, run. All right. I'm going to go line buck with the halfback. And we will get the first down and just a little more, too. So, nice. We got a first and 10 at our own 46, 441 left in the first. We're still in the first quarter, and we're losing 10 nothing. Flat pass to the halfback. And he catches it and gets a lot of yards. Nice yards there. Second and two. I'm going to go line buck with the halfback. And he gets a first down and a lot more. So nice. Okay. First and 10 at the Cleveland 31. Got to go flat to the tight end. And that's going to be caught, and he might even... No, he didn't break away. All right, so we got a first and 10 at the Cleveland 13. I'm going to go off tackle with the halfback. That was a nice run. Yeah, he got five yards. So we got a second and five at the Cleveland eight. Got to go line buck with the halfback. And he's going to be caught for a negative one yard loss. So let's go short to the split end. 
and that's incomplete, I think. We got a fourth and six. We're going to have to try to kick the field goal, even though Corral is terrible at kicking field goals. But he does make that, so it is 10 to 3, so we're still now back down by only a touchdown. And still a minute 24 left in the first quarter. And now they've got a massive return. This is crazy. This how is this team three and five? And uh, Lorenzo White got three yards there, so going to put in the pass. And we were looking for it, but we don't stop him until he gets a first down he's got a first and 10 at the arizona 47. i'm going to run and key on biner and that's not going to work at all but it's incomplete thankfully 13 seconds left in the first quarter and he has a second and 10 i'm going to look put in the pass And that's going to be incomplete. So they got a third and 10 at our 47. I'm going to double team the flanker. And we broke it up. So, yeah, they're going to punt. We do stop them, and we are now in the uh, we're now in the second quarter. He does a coffin corner punt, so we're going to have it at the seventeenth, uh, somewhere around the CF. First and ten at the seventeen, and I'm going to go flat pass to the tight end. My bread and butter. And it's intercepted. You got to be kidding. All right. Um, I don't even, you know. I'm going to go balanced. Let's just go balanced. And that, is that incomplete? Yeah, it is. All right. So he's got a third and eight. Definitely looking past. And we sacked him. So now he has to try to kick a field goal. Which he does make. Oh, I'm going to accept the penalty. So now he has to try to kick it from further away, fourth and 20. And he still makes it. So he is now ahead, 13-3. Back ahead by 10. And we can't get it back to the 20. I don't know. Let me try to launch it again. Incomplete. Uh, let's try a flat pass to the split end. Did he get? He got four yards. So third and six. Looking pass to the split end. And he got close. First and ten. All right, he got the first down. Nice. We're going to go off tackle with the halfback. 
he got some decent yards. Second and six. I'm going to go end run with the halfback. He's got a nice gainer on, on his card if they're wrong. But, yeah, they're never wrong. Third and six. Uh, huh. All right, third and six. We're going to go flat to the tight end. Let's see if we can get at least most of the yards, and then I'll try to decide on a uh, close. Ah, we got the first down. 931 left. Let's go look in pass to the flanker. Incomplete. Second and 10. Let's go flat pass to the split end. Incomplete. All right, let's go short medium pass to the split end. And it's incomplete, so I got a punt. Fourth and 10 at our own 40. Yeah, I'm definitely going to punt. Oh, nice. Oh, wait. No, all we did was just chase him down and make him lose a few more yards. All right, um, I'm going to put in the run. Well, they, I don't know who was off or moving or whatever on that play. First and 10 at the 41, probably on us. I'm going to put in the run again. So I put in the run defense and off he goes. Nice. Nothing like looking for it and having the guy still laugh at you. I'm putting in the run again, and now Testaverde's passing. We stopped the guy, so he has a second and four at our 36. I put in the pass, and uh, yeah, we don't stop him. He's got a first and 10. At our 29, I'm going to put in the pass defense. We do stop him. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And uh, I think that was incomplete. Yeah. So he's got a third and eight at our 27. If we can stop him here, it's not a given that he'll get a... a and we do stop him, but now he's so close that he will get the uh, extra point, probably, or the uh, field goal, probably. And he takes a 16 to 3 lead. We're getting crushed. And there's only 444 left now in the half. And then we have to kick the ball off to him. It's a nice return, but, you know, I'm going to go flat to the split end. Catches it and gets some decent yards. I'm going to go flat to the flanker. And I think he caught it, right? Yeah. He did. So we got first and 10 at the Arizona 41. Going to go end run with the halfback. And they, yeah, there's that big gainer I was hoping for. So we got a first and 10 at the Cleveland 31. I'm going to go end run with the halfback again. And he gets a few yards at least. So second and six, 236 left. I'm going to go flat pass to the split end. Uh, 
And he catches it and gets some good yards, too. All right. Uh, Going to go looking pass to the split end. And it's incomplete. We got a second and 10 at the Cleveland 14. I am going to go short, medium pass to the split end. And it's incomplete. Uh, yeah, third and 10 at the Cleveland 14. Short to the tight end. He's our reliable receiver, and there is uh, that penalty's on us. Third and 15, definitely going short now to the flanker. And we're going to have to kick a field goal, which again from there is not even for. Not even from there is that a given and it's not and we don't make it so we're still losing 16 to 3. minute left in the half and he passes i'm going to look for the pass now first and 10 for him at the 39 He gets out of bounds really quickly, but 45 seconds left, I'm looking for the pass. And I don't know what happened there. First and 10 at the Cleveland 39, and I'm looking for the pass. Uh, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna look balanced. We'll see what happens. Second and 12 with 37 seconds left, and it's a second and 12 at his 37. I'm putting in the pass defense. And we catch him in bounds. And he's got a third and six at his own 43, and we're putting in the pass. And he catches it for a long gainer, and he probably can have a field goal from there. Yeah, he's going to try to kick right now with one second left. I mean, everything that could possibly have gone wrong for us in this game has pretty much gone wrong for us. All right. So, uh, first of all, let's take a look at the stats. Game. Uh, box score. There you see the score, 19-3. We're getting killed. Landry is only 14 of 26 for 117 yards. And one interception. And uh, Tim Spencer has 11 rushes for 50, 59 yards. And the other guys are, you know, the other guys are on the other team. But um, and Testaverde, Testaverde's 8 of 14 for 92 yards. So it's not like either quarterback is really playing well. And we're kicking off. So we're starting the second half here, down 19 to three. Not where we wanna be at all. And we're not good at getting the ball back from the other team. We're not good at forcing turnovers. So it's going to be uh, potentially a very long day. And we sandwich his receiver and stop him right there, but he did get six yards. So he's got a second and four. 
and we don't stop the running back because we had the pass defense in. I'm going to put in the run again, the run defense. And he does run it, and we do stop him after two yards. He's got a second and eight. I'll put in the pass defense. And there he goes. So, this is not at all good. We do stop him. So, he's got a second and eight. I'm going to put in the pass defense. And he runs the ball. And now he has a third and five. So, we can stop him right here. But he's at our 37. He could kick a field goal, potentially, if Matt Stover is that good. But he catches the ball and keeps the, keeps the chains moving along. So And I don't know what happened there. Yeah, we well, we had the penalty. So it's first and 10. He's got a first and 10 at our 14. I'm going to blitz. That doesn't work well at all. He runs the ball. I'm going to I'm gonna look for the run. That's incomplete. So I'm gonna look for the run again. No, he's passing. And that's gonna be a touchdown. So now he is ahead 26. Yeah, 20, it's going to be 26 to 3. All right, I'm going to make this real easy on everybody, especially me. Um, I am going to uh, fast forward ahead in this game once we get the ball. I'm going to fast forward to like just a couple minutes left in the fourth quarter because I don't really see a way that we're coming back in this game. Okay, so game... Uh, auto play until five minutes left in the game. That's good. 29 to 3. It's 29 3. And Richer is in for us, which is fine. I got no problem with that. We got a fourth and two. I am going to go line buck with a halfback. And he doesn't make it. See, that's like the story of our life in this game. So, 410 left. We're losing 29 3. I'm going to look for the run. He should be running the ball. In fact, he's got Eric Zire in at quarterback. That's how bad it is. That's how bad he knows it is. I'm going to look for the run, and he does run, and we do stop him. So he's got a second and 11 at his own 12. And he passes, but we stop him right there. Two-yard gain. He's got a third and nine. I am definitely going to put in the pass defense. And he runs it. And we do stop him, so he should punt. Wasn't exactly what I was looking for against Cleveland. I am going to try to run with it. And we get it up to the 35. 
going to go long to the split end with Richer. And Richer's out on his own on the run, and he does get past some guys. So he got four yards. I am going to go long again. Richer. And they're not picking the flag up, so maybe it's on them. And he intercepts it, so let's hope that that, and no, it's not. It was on us, so a minute 52 left. They got the ball first and 10 at their own 31. Minute 52 in the game, or actually minute seven. I'm gonna put in the pass. And we got it. They've got a third and one. I'm going to look for the run. Run and key on Hunter. And we keyed on him and we did stop him. So he will punt return. We'll put in the punt return. Tom Tupa punting. 15 seconds left, thank God. Let's launch it. Did he catch it at least? He did. All right, we got a first and 10. Gonna launch it again to the split end. Incomplete. And that's it. That's the game. Take a look at these stats, which are not good. So, as you can see, we fall to a game back. The Cowboys and the Vikings are both six and three, and we are five and four. And we won't look at that, we'll look at the game stats. Oh, cancel. So, Landry was 21 of 35, 198 yards and one interception. And Risher was one for three for 25 yards and one interception. Tim Spencer had 15 rushes for 108 yards. Kevin Long had five rushes for 37. And for them, Leroy Horde had 14 rushes for 66 yards. And Ernest Biner had seven for 35. And here you can look at the receiving stats. Um, Tremaine Johnson for us had seven receptions for 65 yards. Larry Douglas, five receptions for 60. So yeah, that's where we are. We're a game back. After the ninth game of the season, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven left. So we got seven more games. We're still in the thick of the race, but that was a very demoralizing loss to a very bad team. So uh, that's going to be it for right now for me, Sportsman Z from the Sportsman Z Football League. And we will see you next Sunday when we play Buffalo at home. We're at, we're at home against Buffalo. And we will talk to you later. Over and out.